Hey everybody, it's Friday Farm Vlog and it has been quite a busy week getting the kids off to school, starting back to school routines and with the changing of sunrise and sunset getting shorter and shorter days. I've had to make some adjustments as far as the farm schedule, but we're starting to get into a nice routine, which I'm really liking. I do have some eggs that I need to gather though. <laughs> it's great when you have a lot of eggs to gather to have a cute little egg apron. <laughs> I love this thing. <laughs> I went to gather the eggs and I noticed that the treadle feeder was empty so I fill it up about every two weeks and so I filled it back up again they were so excited to get it filled back up with some fresh food we have been so fortunate to be getting lots of eggs right now and we're gonna enjoy it while it lasts because then they're gonna start molting which a couple of them have already started a little bit of molting going on I've been seeing some feathers here and there but I got my pouch all filled up here <laughs> and I'm gonna put the eggs in the house and then we're gonna go check on the chicks Two bantam eggs. <laughs> They're so little. So our buff Orpington 
chicks that we hatched in our incubator are now old enough at eight weeks old to go to their new home. So we will be sending the pullets to their new home and raising up the roosters here. We still have all the bantam pullets in here. And so far we haven't had anyone interested in buying bantam pullets that are egg laying. So we may end up keeping miniature bantam breeds, the two, the buff Warpingtons and the buff Brahmas. If they don't sell, then we'll just keep all of them <laughs> and reap the benefits of all these little eggs. We sure do love our eggs here. Okay, everyone has been given food, water, they've got their hay, the bucks are out eating grass, the baby goats are in their separate enclosures, the chicken tractor is moved. Next up, I just gave the girls a little bit of grain because they're about to get milked. I'm gonna milk them and they do get quite a bit of grain while they're getting milked. 
and that just helps them with keeping up their milk production because I've been saving up their milk that we don't consume all that extra milk is being frozen and saved up to be able to make some more goat milk soap this fall and winter and I'm really looking forward to trying out new designs bring them back soaping Sunday when there's less to do on the farm and more indoor time to make soap <laughs> We've been so fortunate here on the farm with an abundance of eggs right now, as well as an abundance of milk. Last week, I showed you the abundance of peaches that we had gathered from our peach tree. And while those were delicious, next we are looking forward to apples. So hopefully, these Macintosh apples will be ready soon because we are so looking forward to it. Our pear trees are so close to being ready. Just look at the size of these pears, these Bartlett pears. And this is our little tree. <laughs> our other pear tree, look at this monster pear. They are gorgeous and we cannot wait to try them. <laughs> Just a little bit longer. Okay, I'm gonna get the milk supplies and I'm gonna get the girls milked. <laughs> boys doing their job cutting the grass the little roosters are cut the grass as that chicken tractor moves they're doing a great job as well we still have yet to have to cut back here and they cut it like evenly it's impressive the girls did great as always and I want to show you I do store the milk in the mason jars and then from there the milk that we don't consume, I freeze in these ice trays. And then once they're fully frozen, I pop them out and I put them in Ziploc freeze bags so that when I make soap, I can just pull from the frozen bags and have plenty of goat milk to work with this fall and winter. Because by winter, the plan is that the goats will be out of milk and be pregnant for spring babies. So I'm gonna get as much milk as I can now for my winter soaping. So thank you for hanging out with me today. And if you haven't started your farm yet, what are you waiting for? Get your farm on. One, two, one, two, three, four. Do you want a farm? A wicked awesome farm. Watch this channel to learn what to do. We love to farm and we'll show you. Yeah, welcome to our show. Welcome